Hi, welcome to Photoix. Uh, this is part 3 of my Nikon D3100 basic operation videos. In this video I'm going to talk about uh, ISO and how to adjust it, uh, why you'd want to adjust it and situations where you might use it. Okay, to start with, um, ISO is also called um, ISO or you might see it as ASA. Um, it stems from the film days when people used film cameras um, it basically referred to the sensitivity of the film that you used in the camera um, different films had different light sensitivity properties and you picked uh, the film that you wanted to use based on the type of uh, light you're going to be shooting in um, now on digital sensors uh, it's basically the same thing except it refers to the sensitivity of the sensor to light so it's a bit like um, opening a window letting more air in as you raise the ISO you let more light into the camera now we use ISO uh, mainly to raise the shutter speed when there's not enough light hitting the sensor um, often you'll find that you want to take a picture at a certain aperture but the camera is giving you a shutter speed that is too slow either for you to hand hold or too slow for the subject that you want say if you want to freeze the motion of a person running uh, in less than perfect light you'd want to raise your ISO to make the shutter speed faster now on the D3100 there's no obvious setting on the camera to change the ISO um, you have to actually go into the menu to do it so I'll demonstrate that now for you. So if you turn your camera on and you'll get to the info screen and if you look down on the right hand side you'll have several different options and you can see the third one down actually says ISO. So If you press your info button down here you'll come into the uh, adjustable menu screen and as you can see the third one down says ISO, ISO sensitivity and if you press OK you'll see it comes up with a list of numbers and um, your camera should be on 100 that's the base ISO that's like the default and you can change it to 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, high 1 and high 2 now for general everyday shooting it's best to leave your camera on the base ISO which as I said on this camera is 100 um, other cameras it might be 200 um, but often you won't really need to adjust it uh, in daylight it's only when the light levels start to fall that you'll find yourself needing that extra shutter speed and the only way of doing that without sacrificing your aperture is to change the ISO so to change it press your info button once press it again using the d-pad go down to ISO and press OK and then select the number that you want obviously the higher the number the more sensitive the sensor is going to be to light the faster the shutter speed you'll be able to get so I'll select 400 for example and we'll go back to our info screen and you can see that's given me a shutter speed of 1 500th of a second at f1.4 if I then come back into the ISO and change it back down to 100 you see that's now giving me a shutter speed of 1 100th at f1.4 so just by changing the ISO I've actually increased my shutter speed now the sacrifice you make when selecting higher ISOs is what we call noise now noise in the image manifests itself as like grain um, it kind of takes away the sharpness of the image, the image won't be as uh, clear so you've got to be really careful when using higher ISOs um, and be aware that by using the higher ISOs your image won't be as sharp and it won't look as clean DSLRs nowadays are getting much better at uh, higher ISOs uh, my first DSLR was the Nikon D50 and you really didn't want to use that camera above about ISO 400 otherwise the noise was really bad. In the D3100 I'm quite happy to shoot at ISO 1600 if I have to. Uh, the pictures are still pretty clean, they're still 
perfectly usable and I have even shot at 3200 and it's perfectly acceptable and um, you just might need to use a bit of noise reduction in software now so as I mentioned the occasions that you might want to use um, the ISO mainly when the light levels are getting dim maybe inside a building, inside a church um, definitely at sporting events where you're in like a stadium uh, with flood lighting quite often that lighting although it looks really bright to your eyes is not enough for the camera so you'll need to raise your ISO up to maybe ISO 1600 uh, another major time that I used ISO was when I used to do gig photography um, obviously on a stage um, the lighting is very variable quite often it's very dark um, and I often found myself shooting at ISO 1600 or above um, and even then the shutter speeds were still a little bit slower than I would have liked. Now on the Nikon D3100 as I said there are no dedicated buttons to actually change the ISO and it's one of those settings that I often use quite a lot and I really want to get to it quickly I don't want to have to keep going into the menus to change it. Now there is a way that we can access this function a lot quicker than using the info button down here. As you can see to get to it I've got to press it twice then I've got to press the OK button then I've got to choose then I've got to press OK again and then go back to shooting. If you look on the front of your camera you'll see there's a button here with FN written on it. This stands for function and that button is actually programmable to do whatever you want it to do within reason of the uh, camera's parameters. So if you go into your menu, scroll down to setup menu, and you'll see the second one down says buttons. If you click OK on buttons, you'll see the first one says FN button. If you then click OK again, it will give you um, four options as to change the use of that button, that FN button. So you can see it says image quality and size, ISO sensitivity, white balance and active delighting. If we select ISO sensitivity and press OK, when we press the FN button on front of the camera, you'll see the camera goes straight to ISO sensitivity on the info screen. To then change the ISO, press and hold the function button and then use the rear dial to select the ISO. So press and hold the function button and then use the rear dial to change the ISO. That's a much faster way of working and um, it saves a lot of hassle by using the info button all the time to get to it. Remember um, if you have been shooting at high ISO, say you've been out uh, on the street at night or you've been to a gig or something and you set your camera up to say ISO 1600 remember the next day or the next time you use your camera to check um, it's always good practice after you finish the shoot to set the camera back to um, kind of base settings so I'm sure we've all been there um, we've all done it before we've been shooting at higher ISOs and then we take the camera out in the daylight to do some nice portraits get back to the computer and then realise we've been shooting at ISO 1600 all day and you've sacrificed um, quite a lot of image quality and sharpness because of it. So after shooting at higher ISOs always check uh, the next time you use your camera that you've set it back to a lower ISO relevant to the situation that you're in. Okay that's it for this video I hope that was helpful please visit the website at www.photoics.co.uk you can follow me on Twitter, I'm at Photoix, and uh, you can get all the latest news and updates from me there. And please subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks very much.